Hello to you, I am ASMR Weetle and I hope that today's video can help make you feel calm, relaxed and good and help you maybe reach that calm state of mind and being even though it's not really your typical ASMR video So what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be doing uh, a shout out or two, or uh, several shout outs, I'm not sure. And I'm uh, because there was a request for a shout out, uh, and I'm going to be doing sort of an, a tour uh, of uh, parts of the house. It's not going to be a full fledged house tour video, but instead, it's going to be uh, uh, I'm going to show you the room. I use for filming, and I'm also going to show you my uh, uh, the <laughs> the candy cabinet, if you want to call it that, or uh, candy uh, closet. Yeah, the candy, yeah, the place where I stored all my candy, and I'm also going to show you where I have my muffin collection. Also, there's only three muffins there today. So yeah, so. The candy closet is mostly just chocolate, because I love chocolate. So yeah, uh, and at the end of the video I'm probably going to do a few, I'm, I think I'm going to eat a liquid ice pipe. Mm, or at least, if not eat it, at least show it to you guys. Mm. So yeah. Um, mm, now, before we begin, I just want to tell you what because I have uh, mild autism, which is sort of uh, a diagnosis, uh, I still live with my dad. Uh, I am intending to move out and and live on my own at the coming years, but as of now I still live with my dad. So a lot of the objects you see in this room uh, aren't really my objects. Uh, they're not, they're, some of it is my dad's or things my dad and mom has collected over the years. My mom passed away some years ago, but you know, uh, the, this room hasn't changed that much. And this, this room I film in also used to be the place uh, my sister used when she was living here. She, this was sort of her room, so, so some of the stuff you see here mm, is also remnants from her time. Uh, mm. But now I'm going to show you the room I use for filming and fall. I would love to perhaps build an ASMR studio in this room, but seeing as this isn't seeing as my dad use the other side of this room for training, I think that I might have to wait till the day I live on my own before I can fully uh, build an own ASMR studio. But anyway, uh, but. Uh, also, I'm sorry I forgot to add that, but I hope you're all having a magnificent, great day. I really do. I hope you're all having amazing days. Mm. Tomorrow I'm going to do a meditation video. And yeah, and I have someone I want to credit in relation to that actually. Mm, for an idea. So I'm going to do that as part of the shout out too. Uh, and uh, yeah, just to be clear when I show you at the room uh, I use for filming, remember what this, it's nothing fancy, but but I like using it for filming. A lot of the pictures I use for for the films are pictures uh, my sister originally had, but I adapted them for the filming purposes. Uh, mm. So, mm. and I also and some of the stuff I put in the background is to sort of more better and accurately reflect my personality and my interests. Mm, so that's why I sometimes put stuff in the background, so it will more reflect who I am. Mm. Anyway, uh, I think I want to begin with the shout out. Uh, yeah, uh, I. Now I'm just going to be putting on my glasses for this because it's easier for me. So yeah. Now, uh, I'm going to go into uh, co the comments and then I'm going to do some 
shoutouts. I did a I did a long shoutout video in early July, where I gave a shoutout to a lot of people. But uh, yeah, so one who wanted a shoutout was Riot Snakey, and yes, I'm going to give you a shoutout, Riot Riot uh, Riot Snakey. I appreciate your comments, and I think you seem like a very cool person. Mm. So I'm going to seeing as you're Norwegian, I think. I'm going to say this in Norwegian too. Riot Snakey, jeg setter pris på kommentarene dine, og du virker som en veldig kul person, og, du vil, og en veldig hyggelig person å ha en samtale med, helt sikkert. Så tusen takk for støtten og for de vennlige kommentarene. Det betyr mye, og jeg håper du, har, jeg håper du får en kjempefin dag og en kjempefin uke. Så so I hope you have a great day and a great week. Mm. Also, uh, 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 that song, thank you for your witty and witty and humorous comments and for your positive comments. I appreciate it. it and I hope you have a great day and week. And uh, yeah, there are a lot of people I already have given shoutouts earlier, so... Uh, uh, I'm going to mention Matthias... Uh, uh, Matthias Fintronix uh, for his uh, kind recent comment on a Norwegian video. So I'm going to go over to Norwegian now. So Matthias, uh, thank for din positive comment. I have not to slut with the Norwegian ASMR video. I will continue to do it. Thank you. And I hope you have a fin day and a fin week. So yeah. Mm. Oh. Uh, mm, jeg setter veldig pris på den kommentaren. Det var veldig hyggelig å høre. And also... Uh, and also just going to... Uh, I'm not going to give a... Sh I, I, I think... I, yeah. And to Sofie... To, to, to Sofia Roman. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you for your positive comment on my breakfast video. And welcome to the channel, as, as you're new to the channel. I'm not sure you're still watching, but I uh, I appreciate your positive comment. And thank you. And welcome to the channel. I hope you have a great day and great week. And thank you to Josh Joshin too for, he, for your positive comment on, my, on the breakfast video. And yeah. So yeah. Og takk til dine positive kommentarer, Thomas Rien. Thank you for your positive comments, Thomas Rien. It means a lot, and I hope you have a great day and great week. Ok, and same for you, Nick, Nip Tuck, or Nick, I think. Thank you for your positive comments, and... And again, it means a lot, and you seem like a cool guy. Thank you, and have a great week and great day. I know I say it repeatedly, but I mean it. But, and thank you, and thank you, Rissi. You're also new to my channel, and thank you for thank you for saying I had a calming soul. You seem really calm and nice as well. <laughs> Hope you have a great day and week. And even talking and saying this to everyone now, I actually do mean it. There's one more shout that I want to give. Uh, mm. Oh, yeah. Going to just give a collective shout, shout out here to Ninja Wolf's Play and Luna Tuna for their positive comments. Thank you. Hope you both have a great week and great day. And then I uh, and thank you to Rissi for calling me a cutie pie. It may almost made me blush, but thank you. I appreciate it. And hope you have a great day and great week. Really, you seem like a really nice person. <laughs> I mean that. Uh, and uh, but yeah. Now. Okay. Uh, Okay, I, I I just have to find as one more comment I have to find there. Uh, 
Ok, da er bedre. To, ja. Gary Ormond gave me a nice idea for the next meditation video. His calming place was a gothic castle with a graveyard nearby. And it was autumn and there was a slight nip in the air. And what's up? That's a place of imagination I haven't thought of before, but I thought that was such a cool idea and I'm going to include that as one of the places I mention in my meditations with this. So thank you to Gary Oilmont for that idea. I appreciate it and I also appreciate your positive comments and I hope you have a great day and great week. week great week, thank you. Now, I was just choosing to mention a few here now. Okay. With what's being done, it's no time to to sort of take a walk around this room to show you. So I hope you enjoy this video. I realize it's a somewhat different video from what I usually do, but hopefully you can enjoy it anyway. Okay, let's let's begin. Okay, so I wanted to. Show you guys uh, my chocolate and candy cabinet, and here you can see bread, and you can also see my muffin collection. Uh, I sometimes I have more muffins than this. Now I have double chocolate muffin, carrot muffin, and uh, and 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 milk chocolate muffin. Yeah, <laughs> I also sometimes have blueberry muffins there, and there you can see liquorized pipes. I'm going to be using these afterwards. And then you get, now, now it's time to, uh, and there's my dad's uh, bicycle collection or uh, mini bicycles collection. <laughs> okay, and now you'll get to see into my chocolate and candy uh, cabinet, sort of closet or whatever you want to call it. Look, <laughs> where, where is, uh, yeah, that's actually, uh, that's actually choc some chocolate thing you can put on the bread, look at it. A Norwegian thing, chocolate chocolate fluid you can put on the bread and then there is peaches uh, peaches candy and uh, and uh, and quick lunch Norwegian uh, hiking chocolate and milk Norwegian milk chocolate and then there's a whole package of Swedish milk chocolate cakes eight eight in it and then there's Toblerone and there's normal Toblerone and there's dark chocolate Toblerone and there's a March there's a, uh, sorry there's a March there's a marsh bar, but wait, wait, just wait. There's a marsh bar, uh, and here, and here there's a, a package of marsh, and then there are some bitty milk chocolate, Norwegian milk chocolates beneath it. Yeah, so yeah, so that's, so yeah, as some of you may know, I love chocolate and stuff like that so yeah mm. and now if you'll excuse me i'm just going to grab a, a piece of the, of the peach peaches look <laughs> yeah so that's how we go uh peach can anyway I Some of you may be thinking now, wow, he, do he doesn't have the healthiest lifestyle, like, and yeah, you're probably right, but there are actually days I don't eat chocolate too. You know, sometimes I I take days off from eating chocolate, but, but I love chocolate so much that I, there are a lot of days with chocolates, and I eat a lot of muffins too. Yeah, it's probably not the healthiest, but I eat healthy food too, so that balances it out, hopefully. <laughs> okay, so here is the couch I use for filming. Mm -hmm. And here is actually, <laughs> here is my uh, mic stat. Uh, it's kind of embarrassing. It's just a bunch of books, really. Mm. In addition to some DVD casings. Yeah, kind of. I uh, know, it's not really advanced, but I'm a very simple person when it comes to this, so, yeah. I mean, uh, uh, yeah, when it comes to the filming things, I use simple means. Mm. So here you can see the background, 
And here you can see the picture. And then we can go up for some other pictures. Beauty begins the moment you decide to be yourself. And uh, and there's a flower picture. And then and then I have also put two pictures on the side here. Uh, so uh, uh, my where where you last week and um, now a few I think it was last week my sister. Uh, uh, took with her a picture, and that was the picture which I never use. It was a picture which says I need more shoes. Which, this is not, this is so completely outside of my personality, but I never use the pictures, but the other pictures work nicely for ASMR. I should probably buy some new pictures too, but I just haven't gotten around to doing that. So yeah, so uh, I thought, so yeah, so yeah. And here you can see a really messy table, mm. a really messy table. Most of this is not my stuff actually. Mm. Anyway, uh, here you can see my dad's trainings, uh, training machines like bicycle and and stuff. Uh, he is in his mid 60s, but he keeps in shape. So yeah, it's sort of his hobby. And here you can see something which can be used for for putting the camera in a better position and place. I, I admit I haven't used this much and the reason for that is I struggle a little bit with practical things at times, even things like this, but uh, I may use this more later. At least I have it. I, this, uh, yeah. Mm. So yeah, I'm not sure if this is something I got or if this used to be my sister's, but yeah. And here you can see uh, the library uh, section and the TV, which stands at the opposite end of the room. Now, I generally do not use this room other than from filming. I have a TV on my own room, which is the TV I mostly use. And sometimes I use the TV upstairs. I think there are three TVs in the house combined. All of them. Yeah. Mm. And now you can hear what a plane or helicopter is. <laughs> is going across the skies. I'm sorry, I sometimes struggle to find the right words because English isn't my native isn't my native language, so I'm used to talk Norwegian. You know? mm, I talked English with myself a lot, but still mm, sorta. Of, yeah. So yeah, so you can see this what here is the library section which you have sometimes uh, seen me use as backgrounds for filming and then at the other end at the other end is the at the other end is the couch. Mm. So yeah. There's also a few pillows here, but these are also not my pillows. Mm. And and below the table you can see where I keep various ASMR stuff like Squishy Shark and uh, and the marbles. Uh, and a few costumes and masks and stuff like that, and uh, mm, and the squishy ball. I keep a few some of the ASMR stuff in there. Mm. Okay, so yeah. Mm. Okay, so yeah. And now I'm also going to show you something else, and I'm just going to yeah. You can also see, mm, you can also see what uh, yeah. That where's the where is the stairway to upstairs uh, the the chocolate uh, the chocolate cabinet I showed you just a few minutes ago is upstairs and it's upstairs I usually spend my days mm. so yeah I, I, I usually only I usually on I'm usually only in this uh, I'm usually only uh, at in this level of the house when I film or when I shall go to the bathroom which is where behind that door. Mm. Now I'm just going to show you something. This used to be my sister's room, but now it's more of a storage type of room. Here you can see some towels are being dried. And but I'm going to show you something. I'm uh, just going to sneak by there. And uh, here, uh, so this was my sister's bed before, before she moved out. Here is the green screen, mm, which I'm going to uh, put up eventually, but I will need some help for it. Mm. Yeah, so yeah, so yeah, so yeah, now you probably got like 
a somewhat clearer picture of the place I use for filming. So yeah. Okay, so it's time to conclude this evening's video and I thought I'd do that by doing a liquidized piping. I enjoy liquidized pipes. They're not my favorite, but I really enjoy them. And I thought we'd be just doing some, yeah. So, uh, there's a fun story about these liquorized pipes. A few years ago in Norway, uh, they were actually banned for a short while. Uh, this was very controversial, and the reason was they were afraid that these liquorized pipes would make people uh, begin to smoke. Yeah, I know, it's weird. They, they believe that maybe what the imagery of this liquidized pipe could uh, make people be tempted to start smoking. And uh, my only reaction to that is, if, if, if this is all it takes for you to start smoking, then seriously. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm sorry, but that's, that's just, if that's all it takes, then, then, then you ask for it, seriously. We are talking about liquorized pipes, seriously. Thankfully the ban was lifted because it was a ridiculous ban. Anyway. Anyway, so time uh, time to open it. I'm not sure I'm going to be... Oh, oh you can see. Hey, this can make for some enjoyable wrapping sounds, I think. You can't smell it, but it's... It smells really great liquids. Just relax. Feel calm and good. Maybe just enjoy these ASMR sounds. Okay. Now I'm just going to be and here you can see all the various liquidized pipes. Mm. Okay. And then... Now, you can see it has these uh, things on top, which is sort of some fruit thing, and then you have the liquids. Oh yeah. Either I look super cool or super weird when doing this, or most likely a bit of both. Or probably mostly just weird, but I'm a weird guy, so that's okay. Mm. It's very good. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So uh, I think that concludes <laughs> today's video. So I hope you enjoyed <laughs> this very different ASMR video and I uh, hope you have a great day and a great week. Thank you for watching.